The leadership of Ohanese in Digbo Worldwide on Friday said the planned visit of President Muhammad Buhari to Ebony State will be instrumental to the unconditional release of the leader of the outlawed indigenous people of Biafra, IPOB, Mazi Namdekano, from DSS custody. The Apex Igbo Social Cultural Group, in a statement signed by the Secretary General Mazi Okechuku Isigoro and made available to journalists in Abakaliki, warned youth from the Southeast Zone to stop any action that would truncate the visit of President Muhammad Buhari to a Boeing state. The group stated that those opposing to the planned visit of President Buhari to a Boeing state are incapable and incompetent of carrying out such rogue operations, adding that if they fail, it will lead to their own extinction and disastrous cessation of existence and relevance. The statement reads in part, any attempt to obstruct, twat, or hinder the planned President Muhammad Buhari's visit to Mboi in state will have disastrous consequences on the unconditional release of Nam Dekano and destroy the efforts of Igbo leaders led by Pa Mbazilike Amechi and religious leader, leadership in Igbo land as there are no forces and opposition to hinder the rights of a sitting president of a country from visiting any section of the country under his territory and jurisdiction. And those opposing the planned visit of President Muhammad Buhari are incapable and incompetent of carrying out these rogue operations. And if they fail, it will lead to their own extinction and disastrous cessation of existence and relevance. Ohanese, however, urged the leadership of IPOP to stop any attempt or action that will warrant President Buhari to decline in action that will lead to the unconditional release of Nam Dekano. IPOP shouldn't give credence to the antagonism and friction of northern groups like Arewa Consultative Forum, Northern Elders Forum, Coalition of Northern Groups, and Arewa Youth, that President Buhari shouldn't release Nam Dekano because this imbecility and abs absurdity will make President Buhari to decline in action that will lead to the release of Nam Dekano. Indigo will welcome President Buhari to a point state in line with Igbo traditional culture and norms of welcoming esteemed visitors. This is another window of opportunities for the ongoing persuasive engagement with President Buhari by Indigo to grant amnesty and presidential pardons to all IPOB and ESN and other Biafran agitators, including Nam Dekano and others who are languishing in numerous detention facilities across the country. The group also tax the South East governors to do everything possible to ensure that the release of Nam Dekano is secured as soon as possible. South East governors led by Governor Umayi will secure the release of Nam Dekano and others in Abakaliki. We have implicit confidence that the South East political leadership and Igbo leadership led by Ohanieze Indigo will seal the deal and facilitate the release of Nam Dekano. It's predestined that Abakaliki is the venue where Indigbo will secure the release of all detained freedom fighters, including Nam the Kano. IPOB should, without further delay, rescind and withdraw the earlier decision to obstruct the planned presidential visit to a Boeing state and disown the earlier provocative statement, or unless that they want Nam the Kano to remain in detention to the end of the year 2023 when another president will succeed Buhari. IPOB should apologize to Pa Umbazulike, Amechi, and Southeast governors for ignorantly hampering and thwarting their diplomatic and tactful efforts to secure the release of Nam Dekano, as diplomatic ways remain the best approach to ensure that President Buhari will keep his previous promise to look for a political solution to the incarceration of Nam Dekano, and IPOB should end all hostilities and resort to prayers and traditional ordinances until presidential pardon and amnesty is given to all Biafran agitators, the group stated. It was Malami who stated first, you know, it started by Malami stating that um, presidency is not ruling out a um, political solution to this Nam Dekanu's case to agitations in the country. All they are waiting for, they are just waiting for proposal. After Nam Dekanu, um, I beg your pardon, after uh, Malami at an engineer of the federation after he gave that hint then the next thing was that uh, Igbo leaders under the title of Igbo great 
they visited President Muhammad Buhari demanding the release of uh, uh, Nam de Kano. Buhari said, uh, yes, uh, it's, a, it's a big tax, but uh, he will look into it because of um, the sort of uh, um, dignitaries, the people that visited him, because of um, the respect he has for them, especially the former minister of aviation, uh, Mechi. So he said he was going to look into it. Now, Nigerians have been waiting. Everyone has been waiting what the next step of Buhari would be. And uh, we got a report that Buhari will be visiting Ebony State very soon. As soon as that report came up, and IPOP started making a plans and they started making statements that um, Buhari will not enter Ebony State, that they will not allow him to enter Ebony State. It's on that backdrop that uh, Ohaniezi is sending out this message that what IPOP, what they are doing right now, that the South is what they are doing. They are trying to hinder the, the release of Nam Dekano. Now, except they have other options, except they have another plan, or they want Nam Dekano to remain in detention to the end of um, 2023, when President Muhammad Buhari's tenure will expire, and then um, probably when the next uh, um, set of leadership comes in, when the next president takes over, then he just releases um, everyone in detention. Now, if they don't want that, then they should uh, uh, remain calm, and allow Buhari to call me that they believe they believe Buhari's promise to them. You know, Buhari promised that he was going to look into it, he would do something. Well, and they are stating right now that they believe it, that let them wait and see how it is. That it, but in the meantime, every action of the seat at home, everything that they put in place, that any kind of threat to say if Buhari comes, this is what will happen. That at the end of the day, Buhari can just decide I'm not coming anymore. And they believe that it's through this meeting, coming to a boy state, that uh, they believe that uh, on that very uh, uh, period, that occasion that Buhari is going to appear in the East, that he would have no other option but uh, release the Namdi Kano. They believe so strongly. That's why they are urging the South is urging the Southeast governors as well to do something about um, this agitation and those who are, are working towards uh, uh, or trying to stop Buhari from visiting the region. They believe that if they spoil this one, that this is the chance they have now for Namdi Kano to be released. That if they spoil this chance, then it is over. But um, Nigerians are looking at this and uh, they believe that uh, it's not Buhari is not willing to let Nam the Kano go. That is all politics is playing. He's not ready. If he wants to let Nam the Kano go, he would have done that long ago. Nam the Kano has been in the custody of the Department of State Services over four months now. Um, what we'll do is that we'll wait when Buhari visits a boy in state. We'll see. Um, the move, the next move that will be made because Ohaneze, they said that they are working towards um, Nam De Kano's release and they believe that uh, it's possible that uh, uh, it's been destined that uh, uh, Abaka Liki will be the, the very point where Nam De Kano's release will be secured. Well guys, leave us your take. Thank you once again for staying tuned. Please don't forget to like, share and to subscribe. So I like, come your way again with more updates. Bye!